Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we would be seeing that how can we apply advanced filters over the data in Microsoft Excel. Now, in the previous video, we saw all about uh, the basic filters that what is a basic filter and how can it be applied over the data in Microsoft Excel. Now, some of the limitations that we encountered was the first limitation was that whenever we filtered any kind of data, it was filtered only at that particular location where our source data was present. Now, if we wanted to move the filtered data to some other location, then what uh, steps we need to follow was first filter the data, then copy all the filtered data and then just paste it to the other location. So that was a tedious uh, job and it was a very lengthy step. But that step is minimized using the advanced filter options of Microsoft Excel. The reason why it is called advanced filter because it is a step forward of the basic filter options that we have seen up till now and it applies um, a variety of other things. So before starting with the advanced filter options, we need to keep some things in mind. Now, what are these things? Whenever we are working with advanced filter options, then we need to memorize. Uh, the first thing is, what is my source data? So the source data is nothing but the actual table from where uh, we are going to take our data or on the table on which we are going to apply our filters. So that is our source data. Then the second thing is the criteria that is on the basis of what conditions we are going to filter the data that is known as criteria. So we got to keep that in mind. And third is the location where we want to uh, paste our data that is filtered. If we want to filter the data in the table only, then location and the source data is going to be same. Otherwise, we have to remember or keep in mind the location where our data is going to be visible after filtering. Okay, so here, what do we have in our sheet is the source data, which is this table that has these different types of columns. And the reason for choosing these table is that it has the diversity of the data. So you can apply these filters on the different types of data. Over here is another um, table. There is a small table, which is nothing but the criteria. Now, what I have done is taken some of the columns from the source table, like name is a column of the source table, units is a column of the source table, and order date is also a column of the source table. Now, what you got to keep in mind while designing the criteria is that uh, the headers you got to include in the criteria must be same as the headers that are in your source data, like order date. So order date is present over here. If we just write date, then it would not be uh, applicable and Excel would become confused as to what you are trying to say. So that is about uh, the criteria. Then I have mentioned some of the criteria like for name. I want uh, the criteria to be Gil. For units, I want the criteria to be greater than 50. Similarly, for the order date, I have taken a uh, order date that is present for the record as GIL. Now, uh, for applying advanced filters, what you got to do is just follow these simple steps. But before that, uh, make sure you determine in your mind that what location you want to show your uh, result. So here I have some uh, empty space. So this is where I am going to show my records or my filtered data. So let's begin with the process of advanced filter. What you got to do is first of all, select any of the cell in your source data. Then you got to go to the data tab. And then in the data tab, there is the sort and filter group. Now in the sort and filter group, you all must have already noticed this advanced option. You can just click on it. And as soon as you do that, you must have noticed two things. First of all is whatever your source data was, whole of this data is selected automatically like this, which is represented with the help of dancing arrows. Now, this uh, dialog box is opened in front of you, which is this advanced filter dialog box. And this list range is actually your source data, which is already selected. The next it asks for the criteria range. So our first criteria is that we are going to only show the records whose name is Gil. Okay, so just click over here. 
and select these two things as the criteria. Now make sure that you select the column heading as well as the data for the criteria to work well. Then the other option is copy to. Now this option is disabled. Why is it disabled? Because in the radio button, there is filter the list in place option that is selected, which means if we just click on OK, the source data would be filtered in its original place. But we do not want that. We want it to be filtered at some other location. So how can we do that? Just click on copy to another location option. And then this copy to option is enabled. Now you can just select the location where you want to copy your data. So this is the location where I want to copy my filtered data. Then click on OK. Now, as soon as you do that, you can see only the data that contains the name as Gil is shown over here. And that's exactly what we wanted. So that's how you can apply advanced filter over the data in Microsoft Excel. But that was the textual data and the exact uh, match was present in the table. How about we work with numerical data? So this time we are going to work with order date. The reason of choosing this order date is um, actually the dates are stored as numbers in Microsoft Excel only. So that's why we are choosing this order date. So again, what you got to do is just select a cell inside the table, go to advanced. Now make sure that whole of your data is selected like this. You got to cross check once. Then go to criteria. This time we are going to go with order date and its value and then copy to some other location. This time we are going to select the location just below, uh, below our previously filtered data. Then click on OK and you can see the records are visible with the order date as 31st May 2019. And the reason why only single record is present cause only single records was there for this particular uh, date. Okay. Now, what if we do not have the exact match of the data in these two filters, we had the exact match. Now we have a units criteria in which the exact match is not present, but we have some kind of a condition that is whenever the units are greater than 50, we want that record to be visible. So uh, go to the advanced tab while placing the cursor inside your source data make sure that whole of your source data is selected just cross check once and change the criteria to this units like this then select copy to another location and choose a location for your data so this time i'm going to choose here then click on ok then all the records whose units is more than 50 are selected over here you can see it yourself like this okay now that is about uh, applying filters over these single records that is we had only the single criteria but what if we have multiple criteria then how can we apply the filters in that case so what you can do is uh, just the same step make sure your data is selected go to advanced tab then cross check that whole of your source data is selected then go to this criteria range and this time we are going to select these two criteria that the name must be Gil and the units he has ordered must be greater than 50. Then only the records would be visible. So that is a multiple criteria option. Then you got to select copy to another location, then choose a location for your data. So, okay, I'm going to select uh, this kind of a location over here and then click on Okay, so as soon as you do that, you can see that only two records are visible uh, whose name is Gil and the units he has ordered is more than 50. So that is um, applying advanced filter over multiple criteria. Now, what if you want uh, to show the data at the same location where your source data is present? That is only at this location you want to apply the filters. So how can you do that? Uh, this time, I'm also going to show you that you can apply more than two criteria for this data. So we have three criteria. What are these three criteria? The name must be Gil, the units must be greater than 50, and the order date must be exactly equal to the 31st of May 2019. So how can we do that? Just select any of the cell, go to advanced and make sure that whole of your data is selected like this. 
then you got to select the criteria for yourself so just select this criteria this whole three uh, column headings along with these three data then uh, we are just going to go with the option filter the list in place then you can click on ok and when you do that you can see that in the source data only the filtered data is visible so that's how uh, the advanced filter works in microsoft excel and as you must have noticed that it is pretty simple as compared to the basic filter options that we um, just saw in the previous video so that's all for the video thanks for watching